Are you getting tired of that expensive studio mic sound? Maybe you should try a mic made out of garbage. Now that's music. Hey everyone, today I'm going to do something a bit different than my normal costume making tutorials. Today I'm going to try and make a guitar pickup from an old watch. And make sure you hang around to the end of the video because I'm going to be taking my fancy guitar pickup to a real live recording studio to see what they think. Let's make it. The main ingredient in this project is a piezoelectric disc, or piezo for short. What most people don't realize is that every time you wake up in the morning, burn your toast, or wear an annoying musical tie, there's a piezo disc in there making its magic. When an electric signal is applied to a piezo, it causes it to flex, which can cause vibrations, also known as sounds. Now that's pretty cool, but what's cooler is if you flex the piezo disc, it will produce an electric current, which can then be amplified. I already mentioned a few places piezos can be found in the wild, but I think the easiest and best place to get one is in the back of an old digital watch. So I grabbed my little screwdriver and opened it up. The great thing about using a watch is the piezo disc is already mounted on the back plate, which will protect it from flexing too much and possibly breaking when we try stick it on our guitar. The other thing I need is a way to get the signal from the pickup into an amp. Handily, I happen to have a box called Chords Cables, and in that box I found a quarter inch mono jack that had apparently been cut in half at some point. Now all I had to do is solder the jack onto the piezo. However, solder doesn't like to stick to the stainless steel watch back. So I grabbed some copper wire that was just a little bit thicker than the screw holes, and filed it down until it wasn't thicker than the screw holes. I cut the copper wire so there was about a millimeter protruding on each side, and grabbed my grandpa's little anvil. I used a ball peen hammer to mushroom the end of the copper wire on one side, then I flipped over the watch back and mushroomed the other side as well. Now that little piece of copper is held firmly in place, and it gives a great spot to solder to. I got out my soldering iron, some solder, and some flux. I found the trickiest bit was soldering to the back of the piezo itself. There's a thin silver layer on the back of the piezo and that's what you have to solder to. So I had to get in and out really quick otherwise the metal backing would kind of melt and peel away from the piezo. So I put a blob of solder on the back of the piezo and on my little smushed copper wire. I used some wire strippers to remove the outer jacket around the wire, bundled all the loose wires together, and stripped a little bit of the jacket off the center wire. I checked to make sure the wires would reach their appropriate blobs of solder, twisted the loose one together, and cut it to length. I tinned the two wires with solder, and carefully and quickly soldered them onto the two solder blobs on the watch back. And that's it! Add a little blue tack, and it's time to test it out. All right. I'm heading into Moonrise Music Club recording studio today, and I'm gonna meet up with a guy named Rusty. He's a sound engineer, music recording guy who also plays lots of instruments. Anyways, I asked him if I could show him my pickup that I made. So he said yes, and so I'm gonna go in and see if it's any good. Hello. Hey, hey, how's it going, man? Good, man. How are you? Good. Are you filming me right now? I'm totally filming. Oh, okay, great. Well, uh, how you doing? Good to meet you. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. exciting. All right, so here's what I got. Okay. This. Wow. That is so simple. I'll teach you how to make yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, great. It's super easy. Uh, let's try it out. Yeah, let's okay. put it on. Let's some plug stuff. it into something. Okay, so where okay. would you where so would you stick? So I it? would recommend like it from my tests so far. That okay. seems to get the most that seems juice. To, well, it seems to get the least amount of um, too much of something. Okay. Something. You know what? I say that to uh, musicians all the time. Can you <laughs> play more of less of that? <laughs> oh, man. Look at that signal. Holy cow. Is that good or bad? That's great. Okay, so I just made that up. I didn't do any level testing. Okay. Seriously, not. I'm not. This isn't. This movie is magic. straight out of this, the. I have no idea can. what this is going to sound like. That's incredible, man. Is that good? Like, is that? Yeah, that's amazing. Why do you hear that? Yeah. What's it made out of? Are you? Kidding? <laughs> 
Did you see it? I haven't seen the thing. Look at this! <laughs> that was barely even on. Wow. Oh my god, we're gonna have so much fun today. Let's see how quickly we can make a nice sounding song with this awesome. pickup. Let's do it. One, two, three. Okay. What we should do is record a second guitar over top of that. Maybe I should do a picking thing. Quickly see how that sounds. Uh, let's see if we can find a bass that makes sense. Let's just throw it on this precision bass. <laughs> Maybe it'll do nothing. How's it gonna work on that? I have no idea. <laughs> what we need, ooh. What do we need? The tambourine work somehow? Look at that signal. Wow, what a neat sound. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. Where would you suggest? My professional piano miking experience? Is yeah. that what you're asking for? Well, we're not Sierra Noble, uh, award-winning uh, fiddle player and singer songwriter. So how do you feel about coming down and playing some violin? Ten minutes of your time. So I've seen pickups kind of like this. Right. But not made out of the back of the watch. This, sounds this is a pretty fancy pickup, but it's, yeah. uh, it's directly in the bridge. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So it has, like, actually four pickups in the bridge for each string. That is fancy. And then it's, like specially mixed for violin right. and like how the so probably not as good as my watch no but i think one, this I'm is sure. gonna be really cool and I'm gonna, like, <laughs> like i'm again, gonna try like it in different spots like i'm that's literally just on the tambourine i'm holding so it cool. i'm going Oh, that's great. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna sound really, so really great. Oh cool. Thank you that so much so for fun. coming in. I want one. Yeah, we're you all gonna get one. one. I'll, I'll make a whole bunch and send them out. Yay! Yay. Totally. So what do you think? Okay. And what do you think? Well, I think that it's frustrating that it's uh, works so well. It's it's great. It's frustratingly good that uh, it so quickly threw this on a acoustic guitar and sounded very pure. Like it, it really picks up the pure vibrations. 
I love it. I'm totally yeah, going to awesome. use it regularly. Yeah. Uh, and anybody can make this. Yeah. Right? And anybody can make this and do pretty much what you can do with really, really expensive microphones. It's very impressive. Because, Rusty, you didn't do any, like, really fancy stuff on your thing, right? Like, you no, EQ stuff? No, everything you hear on this recording is, there's a little bit of EQ, but essentially it's directly a, an electronic signal from this vibrating on the instrument directly into Pro Tools or Logic or whatever program you're using. Uh, Garage Anybody could make this sound like that with this, yes. So there you go. Look at that. Heh. <laughs> How long did it take us? What time? We started at 11. Oh, we did do it. 11.43 it was. It's 3.19, and it sounds like so. this now. <laughs> Everything was done with that. Yeah. There was nothing that was not done with that, right? And makes me happy. Thanks. Yeah. All right, we're done. Just like that. So it is the middle of the night right now, and I am re-recording this last section of the video because I got some really exciting news today, and I just... Totally wanted to share it with you. So I got an email from Rusty today and he finished off the recording that we did together. But not only that, he added vocals and lyrics. And honestly, it sounds amazing. So if you'd like to hear that finished song, I'll have a link here that'll take you to his YouTube channel so you can watch it. And make sure you leave him some nice comments, maybe subscribe to his channel. He's a super talented guy, both at playing and recording music. And he's re just really super nice too. So it's definitely worth listening to because you'll be amazed, especially the vocals. He did them by singing into a guitar with this attached on the guitar. And they sound really, really good. I'll have the link up here. And if it's not here, I'll also include it in a pinned comment in the comments so that you can find it. And a huge thanks to both Rusty and Sierra for making this project way more fun than it would have been if I had stayed in my basement. Thanks for watching. See ya. Now go check out Rusty's channel. You won't regret it.